Hi everyone, um, Boston Potter here. Just wanted to um, go over this little project with you on how to do this ombre look. And um, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need Polar Bear, which is 2300. You're gonna need 2311. Um, this is the color purple. 2320 Grape Escape. 2375. Uh, Jumpin' Jelly, 2336 Winona, and 2312, which is Black Raspberry. raspberry. This doesn't look dark, but it is very dark when it's fired. Um, it's the only one that doesn't really look like the color in the bottle. And you're also going to need this pattern of the bunny, which you're going to cut out, okay? Now, the... Um, you're also going to need a soft fan brush um, because what you're going to want to do is wet the plate because we want to get that pattern on there. Um, okay, so I did already do the, um, I already did the white, okay? I did three coats of white. I know you can't tell, but I did do three coats of white on, on the top side of the plate, three coats of polar bear. Now, once I was done that, now I want this bunny to get to be right here and I want it to stay there while I do my ombre look because I want it to be, I want it, the gradual purples to go down the, the line here. You can do any colors you want with this technique. The only problem is, I mean, it's not really a problem because you can do any colors you want, but it looks real nice if you have like four or five shades of purple or several shades of blue or several shades of green. Um, I decided to use the purples because we got a lot of shades of purple. So we're going to use the purple and we're going to gradually go down from light to dark. Okay. So first thing you want to do is get this bunny on here. Now, if any of you have done the paper technique, you know that this got to be wet and put on here. So we can't dip this into the water because it's too too big of a piece of paper. So it's just regular copy paper that I cut out. Now I'm going to take my um, water and you can see this water and the soft fan brush and I'm going to wet the plate just enough of it to enough of it to put this um, bunny down. Okay. So now you don't want the paint wet. You want the paint the white to dry, then you can put this water on here. Okay, now you're gonna place your bunny in the middle. Might lump up a little bit, but that's okay. You wanna make sure he's down flat. It's okay if he gets bubbles in the middle with the paper, as long as the edges are down. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna go over the edge a little, get some of the water off. Now, I'm gonna let that dry a little, okay? So you can see the edges of the paper are all down very nicely, if you can see see what I mean. It's not soaking wet, it's just damp. But it's wet enough to get the paper down, now it's gonna start drying a little bit. Now I'm gonna explain how to do the ombre look. So what you wanna do is with your colors is the important part of doing this is to have a sponge that's um, a half sponge like this, okay? You want a half sponge. And what you're gonna do with this sponge is, um, let's see, I've got two of them here. Okay, so you don't, you want this rounded, you want a rounded edge sponge, okay? So you wanna make sure that, here's one a little rounder. Make sure your sponge is round, make sure it's wet and wrung out, okay? So. You've got a damp sponge and you've got this rounded edge with no color on it. That's just, you know, from the last color I used, but um, it's just a sponge with no color. So now what you're going to do, the whole idea is to get a couple of colors on here so that you can get that ombre look without, because you want it to be gradual. You don't want stripes. And there's a difference between stripes and ombre. Ombre is like gradually going into from one color to another. Stripes is when you have like hard edges of stripes. So what I'm going to start with is this um, this color purple, which is my lightest purple. Okay. So I'm going to take the purple. 
and you're gonna use the end of your sponge here you should have two sponges, which is good, to, uh, two halves of sponges because it's easier than having to rinse this all the time. Now, what you're gonna do, is the easy way, easiest way to do this ombre look is by sponging. So you wanna get that, um, this, the color purple, the lightest color is gonna be at the top. Now you can make it as far down as you want to. Okay, now, I'm gonna let that dry a little because I wanna do one more coat of this. Now you wanna do your edge too. Now let that dry a little bit. Okay, now you're gonna put that second coat on to the, um, of the color purple on the top area. Cause you do want it kind of solid, but you have the white under there too, so. Okay, now, in order to get the next color to gradually, um, for it to go, gra to gradually go to the next color, is you're gonna have to take the sponge, you're gonna leave the lighter purple on there, then you're gonna take your, your next color, the next darkest color, and now, instead of loading the sponge up here, you're gonna leave that color on there, and then you're gonna put the, um, the dark, the one that's a little bit darker. So right now I have the color purple and grape escape. So now when I put this color on there, I'm gonna have that color on the top. So that color on the top is gonna to hit this color. So, so you're gonna get the gradual colors. Okay, so you see how I'm putting this color here and I can go right over my bunny because it's got the paper there. So when I peel up the paper, it won't be there anymore. So you wanna, see now um, how you, you get, you're blending the two colors together with the sponge, okay? So you're gonna dip it still in that, the color purple, and then you're gonna dip the back side in this grape escape. Now I got two colors on my sponge, as you can see. See, I've got, the, the lighter purple than the other purple. So I'm letting this lighter purple hit that top part. So this is blending as I'm going along. So I'm doing another coat. And you see how that, that blended nicely on the plate. See, so, okay. So now, now I'm gonna just use this darker purple to go down a little further, because I, I definitely want more color of this, more of this color. Really a little more of this grape escape. So now, remember, always use this rounded part of your sponge. Okay, so this next color is gonna go down a little ways. Now, depending on how much you want to do, you can, um, you can only use three colors if you want, or four colors. You don't have to use five colors. Um, I got one, two, three, four, yeah, five different colors out here. But even though I'm taking it down a little further, when I do my next color, it's gonna come up a little bit. So so this is the um, Grape Escape. I'm gonna kind of put it, you should let it dry a little bit, but I'm gonna put another coat on here of the Grape Escape. See, now I'm not going back up there because I already kind of got that gradual thing going on. But I do want this to be a little bit darker, this bottom area. Okay, now, now I could always put another color down here, but I'm gonna rinse my brush because it, it's definitely better if you start clean and just use two colors at a time. Because if you use, if you start going all the way down the sponge and using all the colors, you're gonna end up hitting one color on the other that's not right. So, so I rinsed my sponge and now I'm gonna go to my next color, which is Jumpin' Jelly which is kind of a bright purple. So I'm gonna put that down. And now I'm gonna take this color. Now now I still need two, two colors on here because don't forget, we got this color up here. So I still need this color on the edge so that when I'm doing this, I can you know, go to gradually to my next color. So I'm gonna have this color here on this edge, which is Grape Escape. And now Jumpin' Jelly is gonna be my second color down here. I'll show you the sponge, what it should look like. 
So it should look like this now. So now you, instead of having the color purple and grape escape, now I have grape escape and jumping jelly. Now I can start going right where my edge is there. Now I'm gonna put that brighter color on here. that okay okay now you see how I got that even line here that's where this part comes in that's where this part comes in where I have to use both colors to make it gradually flow okay see how that flows into the other color now so I'm going to do the same thing over this side. So I'm putting that purple in there. I'm going to lay it down. Putting the purple in. You can do this with a brush too, but it's kind of tricky. Okay, now I'm going to take that uh, Grape Escape color and do the same thing up here. I'm going to blend it, okay, so that they, those two colors blend together. Now, obviously, I got those blended and stuff, but down here, I need to put an extra coat. So, and it's going to dry a little bit in order to put the extra coat. Otherwise, it's just going to get, um, you know, if I don't let it dry, it's just going to keep pulling up the color. So, I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and then I'll be able to do, um, go to my next color. You don't want it to dry too much because you don't want that hard mark underneath, but you want it to dry a little bit. So we'll wait a minute to do that. Okay, now that that color's dry, <clears throat> now I'm gonna just use the middle part of the sponge where it's got the jumping jelly, and I'm gonna put that second coat. I'm not touching this top part again because I already got that blended right here. You can see I just got this blended right here, so I'm only putting this second coat of uh, Jumpin' Jelly on. If you feel better about, you know, you know, making them still blend, as you put the second coat, you can just add a little bit of that, um, uh, the Grape Escape, which is that middle color. Add a little bit of that to your sponge, too, if you want to do that. Then you'll still have that same... Um, like um smooth transition right here okay so you can do that too um i'm going to do the same thing over here right where it was started so the grape escape is going up here where it was and then the jumping jelly is going down here so you can see i still got that gradual look okay this will all blend. It just looks different because it's dry. And ignore this little spot that I just messed up, which I'm going to have to scrape off later. Okay, so now I'm going to go down a little further with the grape. Okay, now I'm going to rinse my sponge again. Get a little bit more coverage of that purple. Okay, I'm going to rinse my sponge. And now I'm going to add my next color, which is Winona, which is darker. Now, I could stop. I could just finish off with Winona, but I'm still going to put a little edge of this black raspberry because it's very dark when it's fired, and that will be at the very bottom of my plate. So now I'm going to do this color here, the Winona. The Winona is darker than the Jumpin' Jelly, as you can see. So now what I need is um, I need a little extra of the Jumpin' Jelly, and then I'm gonna need the Winona. So, the Jumpin' Jelly, again, because that's the last color I, I stopped with, and you're doing it this way. So I'm gonna load that color. So I got the Jumpin' Jelly on the, on the edge, on the end of the, the sponge, okay? So that's there. Now I'm gonna put the Winona which is like a darker purple. It looks blue, but it's purple. And I'm gonna put that 
as my next color. You can see the difference, okay? Now that's gonna go underneath, right at the bottom of the bunny. I'm gonna bring it down a little ways. Now, remember, you don't want this hard line right there, so you want to get some more of that jump and jelly on there so you can make this gradually go together. Okay, see the difference, how it gradually goes to, into this next color. Do the same thing here, a little jump and jelly and a little blue. So I have two colors on my sponge again, the jump and jelly and Winona. And that's gonna give me that, you know, gradual look. Now I'm gonna just add the Winona and get it a little bit darker with another coat. Make sure you get it right under the um, bunny's feet there. I'm doing my edge too, so, cause I want the plate to be solid coated. Okay, now it can dry a little, but that color went on pretty dark, so I don't have to worry about you know, doing a bunch of coats. So I don't have to wait wait for it to dry as much. Now I'm gonna use this black raspberry. It's gonna be a little confusing because the black raspberry doesn't look like it's a dark purple. In fact, it looks almost pinkish, but it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse my brush. My, I mean my sponge, calling it a brush. Rinse my sponge again. If you only have one sponge, this is what you gotta do. Okay, it's a clean sponge again. Now this color here, the Winona, is gonna be on the edge of my the edge of my um, sponge again. And now I'm gonna load the next color, the last color, with the dark black raspberry, okay? When that's fired, it's dark. For some reason, this color, it looks like this when it's not fired. Okay, so now, the black raspberry is gonna go on the bottom. And the blue, which is, I mean the purple, the um, uh, Winona is gonna go on the top side. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna blend those two together like this, okay. Make sure you get that blended. And put an extra coat of the black raspberry down there. Blend those two. When I hold up the plate, you're gonna see that it's pretty blended. Okay, so you got so you, you can see the gradual blend. I don't, uh, the more I hold it down, the better you can see it. You can see the gradual blend, okay, of the colors. So when it's all dry, you're not gonna hardly see anything till it's fired. It's gonna look like it's all one color almost, but you will see it when it's, when it's fired, uh, the ombre look. Sometimes it doesn't come out perfect. Sometimes it comes out better than others. Um, I'm gonna put an extra coat down here of the black raspberry, because I can see a lot of white th showing through it. Like I said, you can let it dry a little bit in order to get, it's hard to get that second coat on when it's wet, because you're just pulling up the colors. All right, so that's it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a little pin and I'm gonna pull the paper up of the bunny. And that's my bunny. That's it, you can throw this away. We have the bunny there. You can put a little eye on it. You can decorate it with flowers if you want or whatever you wanna do, it, do with it. I'm gonna leave mine plain. Um, if you get little spots like this, you can either, that's kind of leaked through the paper. If your paper ain't on right, you can get little leaks. I got one little leak there. Now you can use a little tool when it's dry, the plate's dry and scratch it off, or 
you can take, you know, that small brush that I always talk about this, you can take a little square brush and you can get it off by doing that. Just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. And that's it. Now this, before I forget about this and it dries in this little spot, I'm going to try to kind of pull it up a little bit with my, with this brush because I don't want to, um, I could scrape it, but I don't want to do that either after it's dry. So now the, the trick is if you do something like this is to remember which color this is. Now we started with the, I got to remember the colors. Okay. Purple. So this one should be, we started, let's see with the color purple, the next one should be grape escape. So that should be the grape escape. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the sponge and I'm just going to put a little extra coat on coverage on there. Cause I think I kind of pulled through the, to the white. That's okay. That will dry. And when it's dry, it won't, it shouldn't show up anyway on anything. So that's about it. Uh, that's done other than putting a, um, a little eye on there. Um, it should be pretty good. So, uh, catch you later. Hope you enjoyed it.